what's happening guys i hope you are doing good so crazily enough i mentioned this the other day i was like oh i really think the genshin impact should start, start doing animated shorts just like honkai star all does and then wham bam they release one crazy crazy it's what wishful thinking gets you so this is an animated short for the fatui harbinger arlicheno i think i'm saying that correctly who i know was involved in the fontaine storyline admittedly i still haven't finished playing it i am thinking about just uploading a playthrough of it just like i do with honkai star rail if you want to see that just let me know you know that would be cool and yeah, I wasn't going to miss out the chance to watch this, though, because I love animated shorts. I love seeing, like, the creativity and how they put across the story. But I'm also really interested to see how this compares to Honkai Star Rails, because those animated shorts are insane. So I have a feeling this one is going to be so goddamn good. Let's give it a watch. Okay, we're ready. Let's go. You were born into this world all alone. Ah, little boy. But here in the house of the hearth, you will grow up to be strong. Your goal is to learn, to compete, to defeat all your brothers and sisters in battle, and become king. Oh, okay. Where is Pear Ware? Didn't she want to hear the story? Excuse me, mother. She's doing a funeral for her spider. What? Oh, that is this child. how she's younger? Maybe her curse is flaring up again. Clairvy, oh. see to her. Oh, okay. <laughs> I brought cake. <laughs> Relatable. You, you want some? Sure. Uh. Oh. You must know spiders don't eat cake. Oh, yeah, I know. When <laughs> the birds are from their cage, sunbeams filter through the foliage, flames grow up and mm. parts of the current. And I hope this is very beautifully animated. And it's also very sweet, which makes me think it's all going to go to shit in a minute, isn't it? It's too happy. It's not how Hoivus works. Argue with their daughters. I heard that in Smeshnaya, colored light dances in the sky at night. When we're grown up, shall we go see it together? <laughs> oh. Oh, that dream isn't going to happen, is it? Nope. Called it. You will be a great king. What? <gasps> Wait. <gasps> oh! 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 Oh, that went wrong. Oh, my God. It's with the doomed, like, Yuri in the Hoiverse recently. Can you stop? Like, can you let some, like, ladies be happy, please? Look at this. Dude. Dude, what the? That was fucked. That she had to kill her friend. Oh. I should have pruned this flower long ago. Not waited till it wilts. How grotesque. Oh, why? Wouldn't you agree? Why are all the adoptive mothers in Hoyamus evil? The Genshin anime would look warriors. like. Oh my god! Sadly, they're all so useless. Whoa! Oh, 
never fly the nest. You are no exception. <laughs> Oh, I love the way that music built up. That sounded so good. <gasps> Stay away, don't fall asleep. The way is long and the gloom is deep. And there's gloom in the heart. Stay <laughs> Surrender. Let your mother guide you, and you shall become the one true king! The word mother is cursed in Hoyaverse Games Free Forever. It's just such a cursed word. It's never good. It's like Disney. Oh, she has ascended. Oh, she is done. My answer. She really said no, huh? She killed the harbinger? Her Majesty the Tsaritsa has decreed as follows. I hereby pardon your crimes oh. and bestow upon you a new name. This title and its legacy of bloodshed are now yours to bear, my poor, mad, cursed knave. Oh my god. Damn, that is some law, man. Come with me. I will raise you as my child. Like a strict and unfeeling father. Oh, damn. Okay, that is one way to now tell law in this game. Okay, holy shit. First of all, freaking awesome backstory for this ca character. Definitely made her a lot more relatable and a lot less villainous, I think. And considering I'm pretty sure this character is going to become playable and I don't know what the story obviously is going to be, I feel like having that relatability and sad backstory to the character, well, kind of same again like with Scaramouche as well, you know, kind of shows you their motivations for why they became the way that they did. And obviously if they then like turn on the Saritza or or whatever, then it kind of makes them a bit more redeemable, you know? Whereas for example, when you had like Signora, they never showed us her backstory. So she was kind of a bit more of a sort of like only evil kind of character and then you kind of learn her backstory through like items and stuff later so actually getting to see these characters a bit more fleshed out and the history a bit more fleshed out and stuff does help them become a lot more human and grounded and same again i guess like the child as well you know like seeing the motivations as to why they are the way that they are now helps them to be more redeemable as evil characters to becoming like slightly more morally gray characters i guess because <laughs> they're not good <laughs> but yeah becoming like slightly less evil which is nice. um but yeah the as i said um adopted mothers in hoyaverse games either they die or they're evil what is this what is this that i'm seeing why <laughs> why where is our positive mother representation what is this also so sad for her she had like a childhood best friend and they wanted to go and see Shnez Hire together and then she had to kill her can they stop like why do they keep just murdering everyone 
like holy shit that was so sad and then the way that alicella just like popped off and murdered the freaking harbinger like holy crap also then i'm guessing that that harbinger obviously was the head of the orphanage which we know alicello is now the head of so i'm guessing like the orphanage is obviously established for reasons i don't know too much about it because like i said i haven't finished playing the fontaine story i obviously know that like Lene and lynette and those guys are involved and which i obviously did kind of get hinged that in the fontaine story but i don't know the details yet but yeah it is it is quite interesting it's quite intriguing isn't it the animation itself i i thought it was good i actually think the animation for the honkai star rail trailers and animate shorts is better i actually do think that they the honkai sara ones are better if i'm being honest visually i thought it was really nice but this definitely did lean more into an anime kind of style and i didn't think it was quite as fluid and quite as pretty as the honkai star rail trailers um and anime shorts have been if i'm being honest it might be a different team that's working on it i don't know but that's just going to be my comparison point because it is from the same company so and this is the first animated short that they've done and to be honest though as well we did have this with the honkai star ones where they did get better and better and better as they kind of went along so we don't obviously know what's going to happen with the Genshin ones in the future, but I am, it is a welcome thing to see. I am happy to see it because it's a really nice way of telling a backstory to like this character and getting a bit more hyped for the story and kind of being more like related to them and sort of understanding where things are coming from instead of having to read it in like artifacts or like little notes or like a side story with no voice acting. Like it's nice to get to have it voice acted out and actually get to see the events themselves instead of having to just like read about them, you know? And there's definitely a few historical things that have happened in Genshin where like I could definitely see them being really good in an animated short so maybe they'll do more in the future I hope so I definitely hope so um the music it was very eerie and it was very kind of creepy and it, it definitely it definitely fit I didn't think it was the hypest song they'd done but I did like it to the vibe of the short I thought it worked really well um but yeah overall i mean not my favorite hoiver short if i'm being honest i'm just gonna be perfectly frank about that because that's how i feel but it was still very good like i said it was a great way to see more story from genshin in a different format and that is always welcome especially voice acted it's always welcome the voice actors did a great job this was hype. <laughs> it was very enjoyable. But anyways, let me know. What did you guys think of the animated short down in the comments below? Did you enjoy it? What did you think? Do you think it's fair for me to compare it to Honkai Star Rail? Let me know down in the comments below. And yeah, if you enjoyed, don't forget to like and subscribe. Plenty more content on this channel. And if you want to see me play through the Fontaine story, I can post it as episodes. So if you would like to see that, just let me know down there as well. That would be absolutely fabulous. Thanks for watching and I will catch you guys very, very soon. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day. Bye.